Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I finally got my hands on the ANET ET5X. Friends, it's assembly day, so let's get cracking. Let's start by seeing what we have in the box. A full roll of filament. This is the first time I've gotten a printer with a full roll of filament. That's pretty cool. We've got the mainframe, cables, fancy spatula, belt, a ruler, and the screws. Let's see if we can keep this all together. Nope, just this part. There is the bed sticker, and here is the large base assembly manual. And this is the hot end. This looks, friends, like it is going to be a quick install. So let's run through these steps super quick before we start. It's always good to look at what you're going to be doing. So we've got the main frame and the hot end. Attach and tighten the belt. Attach the cables. Tighten everything up. And add the filament spool. I think we can do that pretty quick. Let's quickly track down our included wrenches. and the bolts that we're going to have to attach it with. One, two, three, and four. I'm going to set these in the groove. I'm going to set these other ones in the groove too for later. One for these boat nuts. There are boat nuts on the front of these. So I'm ready for that and then these this will be for the larger one underneath. This would be a handy spot to have two people, but I don't. So let's see if we can get it done. So let's start with the bolt nuts. If you loosen them up, they will get in the groove. And then when you tighten them up, they will start to hold it in place. Now these won't be the end all be all, but it'll give you that start for when you turn it over. And then you tighten up the other side. That one turned, which is good. That's how you can tell you got it locked. There's the second one turned. Let's come to this side. Once again, loosen. That'll allow you to get them to stand up. And then push it in place. And now we've got a temporary connection before we attach the ones on the bottom. Now I'm not tightening these all the way in because I want it to be able to uh, wiggle as I put in these next screws. Alrighty friends, so let's see if we can get this in here pretty easy. There's one, and I'm just going to tighten it a little. Glad I got these handy, that does make it faster. I'm going to choose to just tip it the other way because I like that angle it gave me. Now let's slide this up in here. Sorry for getting my fat head in the way. Now that I've got all four, then I'll go through and I'll tighten them all up. All right, friends, so I flipped it around once. I did the other side, and I'm coming back and just finally tightening this side up. You do want to make sure you've got this frame sturdy. So make sure you've got all four of those and make sure you've got those other ones connected as well. With these in place, there are also screws right here. I'm going to finger start these. And this is a great way to make the frame even more sturdy. And of course we got to do the exact same thing on the other side. Since I've got all the other screws tightened in, I don't feel too bad about tightening these before I start the other side. I really love that I just was able to spin my table around to get to this side instead of moving the camera rig. And just tighten this last one up just a little. There we go. Alright friends, next up we need to slide on the hot end 
make sure that you've got it aimed the correct way boom that is in place now it's time to connect the belt uh, don't forget these loosen for adjusting and then finally tightening when you're done uh, which is pretty darn slick and it just hooks in the metal bracket I'll spin that around and show you when we're done slide this one through under Notice I was able to roll the hot end so I was able to get a better grip on this little piece right here. Real quickly, I'm going to loosen these so I can have a little bit of extra play. So you can see that that slides. And now with that loose, we can bring this through, feed it around, making sure that the clips are down. Notice both those clips are down. And you can put that right back in place. Should be lots of play because of the way we just did that. Now I'm going to spin it back so you can see the front. Grab that little Allen wrench that I, of course, put somewhere that is a little tricky to see. And we can adjust our belt tension to where we like it and real quickly tighten it in. That's how easy it is to get your belt the way you want it. All right, friends, on the rear, it is wire connection time. You'll notice that they have labels, and then you just got to find where they go. This bottom one is temp. Of course, check yours just in case models change. End. Fan one. BL which is bed leveling and the last one is LV make sure you got those all pushed in well and then don't forget to zip tie this in place clip those off real quick Let's make sure we add in our filament hose. Then we need to attach this cable. It has a little notch that lets you know which side is correct. Lock it in. And of course, Z1. Both of these are taped in place so that they're easy to find. All right, let's check to make sure that the bed is going to move the correct way. All right, friends, let's peel off all this material and get our bed ready to move. With those pieces out, make sure you scooch around to the back and pull out the little blue pieces. Those will make it so it will not move along Y. All right. Next up is checking how this moves. If you've got wiggle, there's what's called an eccentric nut right here. And if you do a quarter turn or so on it, you can get it so that your hot end is moving exactly as you want. Nice and sturdy. See how there's no wobble? You can do the same thing down here on your bed underneath. Mine's got a little wobble, so I'm going to see if I can get under there and show you a view of me tightening it up. All right, so here we are underneath here are the little eccentric nuts and you can just give them a quarter turn to see if you can get your bed the way you want I'm gonna go the other way on that so that's a quarter and a quarter and I like that I'm gonna work from there the last step is the filament holder boat nut through connect the bottom half of the boat nut and then do the same for the other and let's get it attached slide it in tighten them down the nice thing about these is as they turn they automatically lock take off this nut attach it on the other side and friends we have just built the ET5X so let's fire it up and do some testing 
Alrighty friends, so let's peel this off and do a quick power on self test. You'll notice I am going to print on the glass. That's what I generally do first. I may switch to the bed later, but let's first make sure everything moves. Alright friends, so there is our screen. Let's check settings. There's our manual movement. Let's check if X goes the right way. That's nice. That's nice. Let's check Y. So far, so good. Let's check Z. It is raising just like we'd expect it to. I'm going to test the auto home quick. I bumped this up to 10x speed quickly. Now, if something goes wrong and your capacitor doesn't kick in, be ready to kill it. Or kill the power switch. That's just the way it's supposed to work, though. So life is good. Real quickly, let's see if the hot end heats up. I'm going to go back to prepare. Let's take that hot end. There's the bed. Telling it to go to 52, hot end. Up in the 220s. Just making sure that everything works before I go to my first print test. See the bed is heating pretty quick. Real quickly, I'm going to adjust these to the normal 198 or 260 that I usually use. I'm just going to change that to the 200 because it's where I normally print. And you can see the bed is creeping up on 60. Friends, I'm impatient, so I'm going to call it good because I can see that it's going to get there. Alrighty, friends, so there you have it. ET5X assembled in no time tested and ready to roll friends stay tuned i will have a first prints video coming out in the next day or so and we'll get you all set up on how that works as well of course friends if you enjoyed the video please give it a like if you got a question comment or a suggestion add it down below if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for smash that subscribe button and last but not least hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me hl mod tech thanks for watching have a great day